Hey friends, good morning. It is another work day in my life and I'm really excited about this one because I have a few work updates and life slash travel updates for you guys as well. So I guess first just starting out with some minor work slash life updates. For work, I did get a new project and so first I guess as an intro for any of you guys who are new, I'm working as a security analyst and one of the things that I do is or one of the things that my team does is man a inbox slash dashboard and I think that's pretty typical for most security analyst roles. But basically we get different types of requests and I've been focusing on a specific type of request and I do think it's very tedious. I want to think of ways to make it more automated but, but we are creating a new process for it anyway so it's kind of like I'm doing it in the meanwhile. And then I think I'm also gonna be taking on different types of tickets this week and next week um, on top of my shadowing my other teammate, which has been really interesting. I think it's nice to see how people work on different things. So this new initiative that I'm working on, it's kind of like a team-wide initiative. And, and just with that, I feel like there's a lot of differences between team cultures. And that's something I wanna highlight because I, this is my first time working with a team where we're all working on something together. And even in my previous roles, everyone just kind of stuck to their own lane. Like I mentioned in, I think in one of my previous videos, I mentioned that, but it's very refreshing to kind of have like a place where we all get on video and talk about problems and talk them out. And even though a ticket may be assigned to you, it still feels like you can reach out and ask other people questions and ask for help on it. If you don't know something, I, I just think that environment is really positive overall. So I definitely appreciate that. I do want to eventually make a video on my experience so far in my job. Also drinking some leftover boba. Although I feel like it's never as good overnight. It's still pretty fresh. So you guys know I've been complaining about my glasses triggering me and leaving these marks and giving me headaches. And I have these other pair. They basically look the same, honestly. I got these earlier, but I just, they were just in storage and they're just normal blue light glasses and these pairs are prescription. I am nearsighted, whichever one is the one you can see far, but you can't see up close as well. I guess they're kind of considered reading glasses, but I only read these, I only use these in front of the computer. And these ones are just normal blue light glasses with no prescription. And I think they feel a little bit better, but uh, they look almost the same on me. I never realized I would be a pink frame kind of person, but here we are. And yeah, let me know what you guys think, if this looks better. Um, I might get a new pair of glasses anyway that are prescription because I haven't changed my prescription since last year and um, get a pair of glasses actually fitted for my face because these are just default uh, from Diff Eyewear. And this pair is from, I think, CoverGirl. I think someone before has asked me about my glasses, but, but yeah, so I basically switched between these two when my eyes get really tired of getting pulled down by my prescription ones, I just put on this one. But I still find myself with really tired eyes, even with wearing these glasses. So I'm not sure what the issue is. Maybe I just need a new prescription. And now I think going back to one of the traditions I used to do in my work vlogs when I was in my previous company, um, I used to just, if you guys are new here, I used to just go over my calendar with you guys for the day. So really briefly, um, I have an office hour call at at 10 30 which i am being invited to the office hours so i might so i don't think i'm going to join because i don't have any pressing questions um i have a kind of like company all hand at 11 and then lunch i typically take around 12 or 12 30 and then i have a shadowing session with my coworker later after lunch and then we have a vulnerability review call I don't know if every team does this. I've never done this in a previous team. But then again, I've never worked in a team where I do many different things. But basically we just review different vulnerabilities and things that have come up. And this is just a call that we have weekly, so it's recurring and it's with my whole team. So pretty interesting. Yeah, we basically just review the alerts that we've received throughout the week. Um, if there's anything pressing, like I mentioned, even if someone is assigned a ticket for a, a vulnerability or a threat, all of us kind of get together and talk it through together if there needs to be some clarity but typically i'm listening in i don't always have something to contribute um, because i don't know our platform as well yet or our network in general compared to everyone else on my team but it's definitely a nice learning experience and then after that we have another team call and then i have a one-on-one -on -one with my manager so yeah that's my day if anyone was ever wondering what my calendar looked like for a random day in the week and typically I don't have this many meetings. Today I'm literally booked 
almost back to back but normally i notice i only have about maybe two to three meetings a day and that is considered very little for me compared to my old job where it was pretty normal for me to sit in on six hours of meetings a day and i still don't really know what we ever talked about or accomplished in those meetings but yeah i will talk to you guys in a little bit all right guys we're currently ordering lunch at this viet food place nearby so the food places around here aren't the greatest and you guys know we are degenerates who cannot cook so those are our options but anyways i opened the camera because I was looking at this filter on Instagram, which made me really sad because it's basically this effect that shows you your left and right side of the face and which side people see and which side you see. I tried to see what people see. <laughs> what is this? Anyways, that's enough. But that just made me really sad because I at least thought at least one side of my face would be better symmetrical, but that was not the case. Um, but yeah, we just ordered lunch, so hopefully it's gonna come soon. Um, overall this morning has been pretty good just meetings I also updated a few things and I have to reach out to someone for access to this uh, dashboard that my team has access to but I'm basically having some authentication issues with that but I will probably follow up after lunch I wanted to show you guys where Koji sleeps he literally sleeps on a suitcase this is his spot. I think he just likes his alone time, but since we live in a studio, it's uh, not that much space. So he just kind of just finds his alone time sleeping on the suitcase by the door, even though he's about to fall off. Okay, so our lunch order got canceled, so we ordered Blaze pizza instead. But right now I'm just figuring out adulting things in the way of tax exemptions and also moving over my 401k from my previous employer. Yeah, that's been kind of like the last two days. It's definitely an experience. I kind of wish that there was a more streamlined way of doing things. Like if there was a fintech startup out there that would directly transfer investment accounts because it's really only the main big financial institutions that have 401k plans. So it would be nice if there was some direct communication and they could just transfer it over. If you guys don't know the process of 401k transfers and you're in your early career, you have to talk to the financial institution where your previous 401k is housed, usually give them some kind of information about your new account, and then they'll mail you a check to then send along with some form, and then send that to your new 401k processing company. And in that form that you sign, it gives some kind of allocations for where you want to put your money. Basically a lot of moving around. I just don't like the fact that you have to take money out of the account for a certain amount of time because it still takes 10, 5 to 10 business days to get the check. Hopefully there aren't any tax implications with that. I don't think there are since I'm not selling, I'm just rolling over, but I think they do give you a tax form at the beginning of next year to file with your taxes. So that will be another fun thing. But yeah, that is my life right now. Um, pretty hungry. Oh, we're also planning some trips, I guess. We're not really trips. We want to plan some weekend getaways and maybe some kind of road trip. Um, we don't know exactly the details yet, but it would be nice to kind of take advantage of that and visit a few different cities or work from different areas. I feel like a lot of people are doing this. I'm seeing a lot of friends who are in tech that work remotely uh, kind of packing up and, and maybe trying out different cities for a while. And I think it's very interesting that a lot of people are shifting towards that. And I wonder what that's gonna look like in five to 10 years when more people are working remotely and maybe you know things like rent and stuff won't be the typical 12 month lease because so many people want to move around and there's kind of a a need for that or a preference for that got our pizza a lot of ham. so i got blaze pizza with smoked ham italian sausage spinach peppers onions red peppers ew you just put all your sink water on my pizza I just dropped you guys for like the 20th time. I'm so sorry. It's very healthy. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Change this week I'm dropping digital. Every time you go, there's something new. I just finished a one-on-one -on -one and I just have one last shadowing call that was scheduled basically because we didn't finish what we were discussing or working on um, at my earlier call with the person that I'm shadowing. So I'm probably gonna connect with them again before the day ends, but I definitely feel 
a lot more tired lately just based on work because I feel like since you're learning more, especially in like a new role, it just ends up being a lot more mental energy used, you know, during the workday. So I definitely am more tired after work nowadays from what I've noticed. But I did get my 401k rollover stuff handled as well as my tax stuff. So that was very nice. And we are going to go to the gym later, which will be a nice way to end the day, I guess. Actually, yeah, we usually work out during the afternoons, but, but normally we work out kind of like early afternoons. But yeah, in terms of work work, I've already finished most of what I had. Um, I was outlining some documentation. I, I swear you will not be able to get away from documentation if you work in cybersecurity. So you might as well get used to it, get good at it, try to somewhat enjoy it. Um, but I've honestly always liked writing and essays. I don't know about documentation, but an acquired taste for those of you who may not be as interested in that side of cybersecurity and writing reports and stuff like that. But it's definitely good to know and a good skill to have. Um, my mind is a little bit fried right now because I've had hours on hours of meetings today somehow. So I will talk to you guys after we come back from the gym. Another day, another grind. Alright, so we have these arm things. This is my favorite. Gym tour. I even brought my headphones just to listen to music. Alright guys, we just got back from the gym and still waiting for dinner, but just drank some protein, so that was good. I feel like I always end up working out on the days where I just wash my hair. Also, you can see Lo-Fi Girl on my laptop because I typically listen to Lo-Fi during work. But then I'll turn it off if I really have to concentrate. It's one of those things. Yeah, that's kind of my life lately. At the gym, I just, I really don't do that much. I just do a mix of everything. And this gym is definitely well equipped more than, you know, our at home gym that we had. And I'm strangely addicted to Stairmaster, even though I don't like it. It's somewhat addicting. Let me know if anyone else is like that. I'm always very optimistic about it. And then three minutes in, four minutes in, I'm just <laughs> about to die. So yeah, that's that. And yeah, overall, work has been pretty good. My camera's about to die, so I might replace this. Lucas sits right in front of me. We sit right next to each other while we work. And anytime I'm filming something or vlogging for you guys, it's like I sit right here and he has a mechanical keyboard or, you know, whatever those keyboards are called that make a lot of noise. And like sound pollution is crazy. It really gets to you when you're in a studio and you have many cats and two people in 400 square feet. Bella agrees, even though the cats honestly get the most space in this apartment because this is all their space. Um, cat tree, cat stuff, cat food. And then past the rug, it's straight to work. And lots of drinks, we really need to clean up. But yeah, I don't know if I mentioned it already. I think I have hinted it already, but we're basically going to be moving again. Luca is also gonna be working remote and that was something that we didn't know before we moved in. He was originally going to be hybrid in the office. So it's kind of like, why did we move back to the city paying a crazy amount of rent? Our rent is about, our total rent is about 2,700 for this studio. It doesn't really make that much sense to be here, um, especially if both of us aren't working in the office. And we're not really the types to go out on the weekend and like have a night out in the city and stuff. Like we're not really the type to go out to bars and stuff like that. So that's why it's just not really worth it for us to live here because people live in the city for the perks of being close to the city and things going on but we don't really do a lot of that so basically we're moving again but this time i don't think it'll be as big of a deal because all of our stuff is pretty much still packed away besides our desk stuff our cat stuff and that's honestly about it uh some clothes i guess but yeah this is a very short-lived <laughs> move out session it feels like we literally moved in just to move back out again so yeah that is an interesting life update for you guys i think i mentioned in my last vlog too about my career coach that i recently started it's something my employer provides so they partner with a career coaching company and it's something that I do bi-weekly so every two weeks and it's been pretty nice so far i kind of just plan out kind of like timelines and goals that i have and she really helps me put it into perspective what I want out of my career. It's not as simple or straightforward as just working nine to five for 20, 30 years and then um, making it to managing director or director of security or something. That's not really the goal that I want, at least what I currently want right now. Yeah, basically planning all of that out. 
if there are any major updates i'll let you guys know but for now it's really just conversations and a lot of planning which is nice to have someone guide you through that i don't know if i ever would have gotten a career coach myself i've never thought about it even but yeah if it's a good investment i will let you guys know um even though I, well i guess i a little bit biased though because i'm technically not paying for it i'll let you guys know if it's a good experience or maybe even something to ask your employers for if you know there's room in the budget for health and wellness there's a lot of things that people are looking for um in their new job so what a hard working cat she's literally on that laptop all day working her little tail off she's too distracted she's working meanwhile bella slacking there's a difference between the slackers and the hard workers i'm just kidding i love bella this is her job and she's great at it also guys we got this moon pod if you guys have been seeing those ads for like the last few years of moon pods i honestly don't think it's that great luca really wanted it it's just it's just like a glorified bean bag in my opinion and this was like five four hundred dollars it's like the double person moon pod yeah i am not a huge fan of this and it takes up a lot of space i like this whole video it's literally me talking so thank you guys for sticking along with me on this day in my life and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on post notifications. I post videos every Wednesdays and Sundays at 12 p.m. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Say bye, coach. Say bye. Bye. Wait, she actually said bye. The smartest girl.